As adolescents navigate the complexities of relationships and sexual health, empowering them with knowledge about HIV prevention is crucial. Post-exposure prophylaxis PEP, a short-term course of antiretroviral medication, has emerged as a powerful tool for adolescents who may have been exposed to HIV. Understanding PEP and its potential to prevent HIV infection can empower adolescents to make informed decisions about their health and safeguard their well-being. Understanding HIV risks and the role of PEP for adolescents. Adolescents may face potential HIV exposure through unprotected sex, needle sharing, or occupational exposure. Without appropriate interventions, the risk of HIV infection can be significant. However, PEP, when initiated within 72 hours of potential exposure, can effectively reduce the risk of HIV infection by up to 95%. PEP offers a critical line of defense for adolescents, providing a window of opportunity to prevent HIV infection after a potential exposure. Early initiation of PEP is essential, as the risk of HIV infection increases with time after exposure. PEP HIV Prevention Guidelines for Adolescents the CDC and WHO have established comprehensive guidelines for PEP HIV prevention in adolescents, providing evidence-based recommendations for healthcare providers and young people at risk of HIV exposure. These guidelines outline the eligibility criteria for PEP, the recommended medication regimens, the duration of PEP treatment, and the importance of adherence and follow-up testing. Eligibility criteria for PEP HIV prevention in adolescents. PEP is recommended for adolescents who have had a potential exposure to HIV within the past 72 hours. This includes Unprotected sex with an HIV-positive person Sharing needles or other drug-injecting equipment with an HIV-positive person Occupational exposure to HIV-infected blood or body fluids In addition to these criteria, PEP may be recommended for adolescents who are unaware of their HIV status or who have tested negative for HIV but have an ongoing high risk of HIV exposure. Recommended PEP HIV Prevention Medication Regimens for Adolescents The CDC and WHO recommend two primary PEP medication regimens for adolescents. Truvada, emtricetabine, tenofovir disoproxyl fumarate, taken once daily. Atripla, efavirenz, emtricetabine, tenofovir disoproxyl fumarate, taken once daily. The choice of regimen depends on individual factors, such as potential drug interactions, medical history, access to medication, and the adolescent's age and weight. Duration of PEP treatment and follow-up testing for adolescents. The recommended duration of PEP treatment for adolescents is 28 days, starting within 72 hours of potential exposure. However, the duration may be adjusted based on individual circumstances and the type of exposure. Regular HIV testing, both during and after PEP treatment, is essential for adolescents to monitor for potential infection and ensure the effectiveness of PEP. Additionally, adolescents who are HIV positive should continue R to prevent HIV transmission to others. Adherence and follow-up care, cornerstones of effective PEP for adolescents. Adherence, the consistent and correct use of PEP medication, is crucial for its effectiveness in preventing HIV infection in adolescents. Missing doses or taking medication at the wrong time can significantly reduce the protective effect of PEP. Regular follow-up visits with healthcare providers are particularly important for adolescents on PEP to monitor adherence, manage potential side effects, address any concerns related to HIV exposure, and provide comprehensive sexual health education and counseling. Empowering Adolescents Through PEP HIV Prevention PEP HIV prevention offers a powerful tool to prevent HIV infection in adolescents following potential exposure, safeguarding their health and well-being. By understanding the PEP HIV prevention guidelines, eligibility criteria, recommended medication regimens, duration of treatment, and the importance of adherence and follow-up care, adolescents at risk of HIV exposure can make informed decisions about their health and protect themselves from HIV infection.